So now that we have created an SMB server and we've created an SMB share, how do we connect to it? All right, let's start by reviewing real quick what we did. We have SMB up and running. So you can see that here. I have created uh, a forward slash shares SMB folder, and that's what I'm sharing. And I put a file in there or a folder in there called files. Okay, now I'm going to need the IP address to connect to this because I don't have name resolution set up for a quick demo. So I'm going to do an IPA and that'll show me my IP address. Now I'm going to go over to my other server. And from this one, I would install the Samba client. So the command is apt install SMB client. And then the other thing you're going to need is CIFS utils. Now, this may already be installed in your system. Uh, desktop systems tend to have it installed. Not all of them do. In this case, I've already installed this and it's already the current version. So I'm all set. Now, what I need to do is I need to map this network drive or I need to mount. It's going to be better terminology. I'm going to need to mount this network drive in uh, the system. So I did, let me do an ls-l of the forward slash mnt folder and you'll see that I've created a folder here called remote and if I look in remote you'll see I've got nothing there. Okay perfect it's an empty folder that's what I need for my mount point. So once I've installed the SMB client and the CIFS utils it's actually pretty straightforward. I can mount dash t because I need to specify what I'm mounting so dash t specifies a type and this is a CIFS share. And it's going to be forward slash forward slash and then the server name. Now, remember, I don't have name resolution set up. So I'm going to use the IP address. I'm going to do 134.39.161.99, which is my address. And then I'm going to need the share name. So forward slash SMB. Okay, that gives me the option or that's what I'm going to mount. Now I need to set where I'm going to mount to. So, by the way, in this mount command, you can also do dash O and you can set different options and that's kind of helpful. So I could do dash O and I could say my username is going to equal David. Okay, and then I'm going to mount that to forward slash MNT forward slash remote. That's where I want it to go. Now, only root can do that. So I'm going to sudo and the two exclamation points says rerun the previous command with uh, as root. So put in my password and that should have got it mounted. Now, if I type my mount command with no other options and just execute it, you'll see that it lists all of my things that are mounted. And if you come down here towards the bottom, and I can't really point it out with my mouse, but it's like from the command, it's like the third line up forward slash forward slash 139. Okay, that's my mount for my uh, new CIFS connection. And notice it's, uh, as you go across there, type CIFS, and how we connect it and all right. So those are all of our set, uh, settings. And if you look there, you'll even see the file mode, the directory mode. You'll see some of the settings that we set in our previous video when we configured the SMB uh, server. So I'm gonna clear my screen and forward slash MNT forward slash remote. And then if I look, there are my file, that folder called files that I created. Now I'm going to create a new file here. So now remember, I haven't set up any security on this really. I've kind of left things fairly wide open. But if I try to create a file, nano test file dot text, it tells me that the directory is not writable. You'll see that down at the bottom. So I'm going to exit out and I'm going to just do that with sudo. And now I'm creating a new file. So this is a test file created from the remote server. Write out and exit. And there's my file. Now, is that actually on my other server? Well, it should be. We'll just kind of prove it real quick. By here, I'm already in my shares Samba. So LSL and there's test file dot text. So I'm going to cat test file.txt 
and there's the data. Our share is up and running. So we have Samba server installed, working, and we have connected to it from a remote device.